but before we rule the building let's also maybe put the column first before we rule the building so let's come back to round floor plan so right now i want to show you how to design your own column by yourself so we'll make it of slab also so let's form a base we we'll design one column once we are done with that one then we can now multiply to the other side of 900 by 900 enter so i've done a base for my column let me change the setting of the base to be 600 or rather 900 and it's going to zero yes it's going to zero and i can change the material to be brick red or true and i click ok so let me see what i've done okay i can then leave this up i want it to be above the dpc so i'll lift it up by 300 yeah so this is the base i've done for this column then i come again to my ground floor plan just ctrl shift d duplicate the copy of this place it back minimize it which is offset all edges to maybe around 100 or 150 I'll offset if it's too much can I increase it also by 25 so then i'm going to increase this thickness or rather the height i will now increase the height to around five thousand or yeah let me increase it around five five which is the total height of the column if it's not up to what if it's less than i'll increase it also i, I recall that i did not do my settings for the height for the base so i'll come out to my ground floor plan again to this setting remember the slab height is now or thickness is now five five now it's now come over to this building by also 5750 let me confirm that so let me show all in 3d perfect so as you can see i'm designing the column and it's working perfectly so this is has formed a base why this has formed the pillar so let me kind of change the material to make it more distinct and fine let me make it a bit a white color or any color that maybe suit it very well. Let me move to the white color. Okay. I don't make a white color again. So let's look for another color to use. Maybe okay, let me still use a brick material. Maybe now I'll use a brick brown. Let me see. Okay. So I've used a brick brown. Remember when you go to your rendering software you can also change it to whatever suits you so now i've designed a column now let me cap this column i want to cap the column so with the white material come back to my ground floor plan let me cap the base first ctrl shift d let me cap the base place it back offset it by 30 then i want the height to be around 100 yeah okay and i can adjust it to my elevation so i also want the material i also want the material of my cap to be white so i'll change this material to be white so i think we have white around yeah so we have stone marble also white so i've done this as a cap so let me increase it up a bit Okay, I can then control shift D. Okay, I've done the other one. So let me offset the edge of this one again more. Let me offset the edge of this more. So maybe more 20 or oh. See again. So I have done the capping for this pillar. Hope you are seeing that is nice. So this is how you can design your pillar by yourself. So I can now duplicate it to the upper side of the pillar too to also cap the one up. 
can also cap this too okay so it's not covering the entire in fact this this one inside is kind of tall that can reduce the height by stretching height that can reduce the height of the pillar so as you can see have successfully designed a column and it looks very very nice so you can try out you can even design and make it more beautiful than this so once i'm done with it i now i can now duplicate it to the next column highlight everything duplicate ctrl shift d get it here and place so let's see what i've done so you can see that it's very very nice so i've designed a column for this house and it looks very very real 